gentlemen and beautiful ladies. All right, y'all. I went fishing the other day and I caught some croakers. A lot of people use those as bait, but these were big ones, and I didn't didn't see the need to use them as bait because I like eating them. I just cut the heads off, gutted them, scaled them. I know I'm not a big fillet guy. Everybody likes fillets. I'm not a fillet guy because I like the tails and I like I just like picking the meat off the bone. Pretty easy today. Just get a couple of eggs, some milk. That's going to be a wash. You're just going to dip the fish in there. Then you're going to drop it in some flour and season the flour and then fry it. And of course, you fry it in shortening, real shortening, not Crisco, real shortening. It'll say meat byproducts on it. That's super important. That's the, that's the whole deal right there, is that shortening. And of course, you know, how you're going to season it. So let's go ahead and get these things in the wash. It's kind of a big fish. I'm just going to get this all over, you know, get the egg all over everything. This isn't rocket science. And I'm only going with a light batter. You can buy that fish fry, whatever. I'm not a big fish fry guy. Of course, you're going to make a mess. Just the way it is. I'm going to go ahead and use some zombie on this one. Zombie dust. Because that's just how I roll. Set that off to the side. Let's do number two. Now you can leave the heads on these if you want to look all international and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, feral wasabi right to the wash. That's going to help it out a little bit. Ain't going to hurt anything. Of course, we're going to add some more zombie over here. We coat everything with flour. That's what we're looking at. They're fully breaded and seasoned. Like I said, I use some feral wasabi and some zombie dust. You can go heavy or light, whatever you want to do. Now I got my grease going over here. I'm going to bring it up to about 360, 370, and then I'm going to drop in one fish at a time, maybe two, see how if they fit the pot, you know. And we're just going to fry them. All right, the grease is up to temperature. Let me drop these in. I drop one in at a time. Let's see what happens. Go ahead and flip this bad boy over. Come on, baby. Maybe I'll use a bigger pot next time. Doing the sizzle sizzle thing. Gonna give it one more flip. Should be real close to being done. This other fish is going to be a pain to fit in here, but we're going to make it work. It's going to cheat. It's kind of like cooking your eggs with bacon grease. Hell, there might be bacon grease in this grease. In fact, I can probably guarantee there's bacon grease in this grease. <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm happy with that. <clears throat> Drip all the extra grease off. What you think of that? It's all nice and crispy. I think that'll do. Let's get the other one in. I think next time I'm going to have to catch smaller fish, you know, because they just don't fit in my pot. You know, these things are so massive. All right, y'all, I'm going to call this one done. Let's get it out of here. Not too shabby. I'll take it. All right, everybody thinks I'm just a carnivore. All I eat is fat and meat, which is probably something I could survive on. Until I die, but uh, I'm a carnivarian actually. I am going to have a salad, but it has to be properly addressed. Got to kick it up a little bit. What was that? No, no. Check out this fish. Are you seeing that? Perfect. It's real simple, real easy. It's going to make your house stink like fish, but you know, some things you just got to deal with. First thing we're going to do, snap off this tail, because that is the best part. Mmm. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's nice and flaky and white, and then I got all the good skin. That's why I don't like fillets, and it's got all the seasoning. Look like a caveman. Mm. 
nothing wrong with a croaker. The whole deal is if you don't fillet them, you're going to have bones. A lot of people don't want to deal with the bones. I don't mind dealing with the bones because I can just slowly eat through the fish and enjoy every bit of it. And then I have my little salad on the side. Which, actually, looks pretty darn good. So, anyway, y'all, appreciate you watching. Check out my other channel, The Hog Zone! And you can actually see me catch these fish. Actually, my daughter caught quite a few of them. So, anyway, y'all, appreciate you watching. Now, this is important. It really is important. If you're going to fry, you want to use shortening that says meat byproducts. It's the cheapest crap you can buy. This is a Walmart special. It'll be right next to that Crisco. Just don't grab the Crisco because that's all vegetable. You want the meat byproducts. It's probably pig snouts and pig belly and, you know, a bunch of fat off a hog, but that's what makes it good.